Now this is lead grape shot. And the reason it's called grape shot is because when it's actually together, it actually looks like a, a bunch of grapes. Now Grape shot has got to be one of those things that is absolutely terrifying to really learn about in history because at first you see it and you see images of it and you think, oh yeah, okay, so it's a bunch of little balls. And then you realize, no, that is a bunch of balls the size of like, what, like golf balls getting fired out of a cannon directly into your face that is essentially going to turn every human in front of them into Swiss cheese. But the funny thing is, this was the close range shotgun version. Because you see, grape shot was a variant of canister shot, which as the name implies means that it's a bunch of little balls or whatnot that is inside of a canister that is fired out of a cannon, and typically those had many more smaller balls in them that could be spread across a wider area, though have less individual impact. Still gonna be cheese though. And then in the 19th century they were like, okay, well what if we could do that, but way further away? And that, that's what gave us then shrapnel shot. 